Oh man. Lift your hand to tell the Lord thank you. All right, can y'all see me? Come on in here. I've got, I've got a funny story. It's really, in one sense, shouldn't be funny. But because I don't take so many things so seriously, and plus, you know, it's funny to be, it's hilarious. Um, ooh, my Apple Watch is dying. Um, oh, I forgot to charge it. Anyway, no, no, it's in my bag. Okay, cool. Uh, hey, man. If you want to follow me on Twitter and all social media, the Periscope, hit the dot, dot, dot at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Be glad to interact with the grace and peace to sir. Hey, Solus, Sol, Solus Christus, long time no see. Grace and peace to you, sir. I've got a funny story. We've got a funny story. And so, for to protect the guilty, we're going to change some of the names. But on yesterday, there was a woman, and we'll say her name was Lynn. Um, she was, she's really been going through a lot of things um, internally, spiritually, and really, hey, Teddy 120, really wants to be set free by the power of God. And so, you know, sometimes Lynn has some things from way back in the day, 15, 20 years ago, unresolved. And so she's going to therapy, going to church, trying to get her life together and hold out yards. And it's basically affecting her current marriage and so because of what happened in a previous marriage and so that's not the funny part that's not the funny part anyway so Lynn we'll call her Lynn hey Jesse uh, <clears throat> uh, part of her therapy was to try to reach out to her best friend of 30 years we'll call her we'll call her Val we'll use the alias Val Val V-A-L Val and so they've been friends for 30 years, college roommates, all that kind of stuff. And so, then was on the phone with her spouse, and uh, we'll call him Lee. And so she went to call her friend Val to say, hey, look, I need to come clean about some stuff, Val, and I need you to help me. And I'm doing this in front of uh, Lee because you know, uh, Lynn had a problem with, you know, uh, being forthcoming about things. So this is a big step for Lynn. Her best friend, who's a uh, Christian, who's a saved, sanctified, since she's Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized, entrepreneur, woman of God, you know, so on and so forth. And so Lynn, we'll call her, hey Angelica, uh, Lynn decided, it's a funny story, let's, let's, let's get to the funny part yet. Lynn, <laughs> Lynn decided to call her friend, we'll call her Val, uh, with her husband Lee on the phone, and so you know, because you should be able to be forthcoming and transparent and naked, if you will, with your best friend who's also a strong Christian and Lynn's a trying to become a stronger Christian. So Lynn said to her friend, You know, um, this is how the story is told to me, hey, VJT, VJT. So, excuse me, so Lynn decided to say, Hey, you know. Val, you know, this is what I'm going through, and I really want to talk to you because I've not been very forthcoming about what's been going on with me and Lee. And immediately, this Christian, this Holy Ghost filled best friend of 30 years, about the time she said her husband's name, literally started screaming and hollering and cussing and saying, now watch this, watch this, you ready for it? Watch this. I've been praying, watch this now. She, her friend said she has been praying to God. That's the Christian friend now, trying to strong the Christian, trying to help the weaker Christian. The friend Val said, I've been praying to God that your marriage with him would end so he can get out of your life. Because he ain't it. And he's full of beep. <laughs> now, mind you, <laughs> the husband, remember, is on the phone, full disclosure. <laughs> and so the husband, Lee, said, Wow, well, Val, why don't you tell me how you really feel? 
And boy, the friend, the Christian, the Holy Ghost feel friend, hey, just watch him. She went, he ain't full of me. He full of this. And then <laughs> the friend Val started saying, Say that the blood of Jesus rebuke you. You demon from hell. The blood, the blood rebuke you. The, <laughs> say, and then she starts rebuking. <laughs> and screaming, rebuking the husband Lee. <laughs> Intermittently by saying, You're no good mother. <laughs> F you, F you, say the Lord rebuke you, F you, you're full of this, you motherfucker, beep, 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 you, say the blood of Jesus against you, the blood of Jesus against you, you motherfucker, <laughs> 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 and so, <laughs> and so the friend, Lynn, she said that thing of the, <laughs> the friend Lynn is screaming on the phone. No, 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 he didn't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. Uh, and she said it, you motherfucker, you F you, F you, the blood of Jesus. <laughs> oh. 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 When they told me that story, oh. when, <laughs> when Lynn and Lee told me that story. I, I was trying to, I was trying to be serious. But I said, I do believe that's the first time I've ever heard somebody rebuke Satan and, and, and MF you. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> so you asked, how did it end? Well, when Lee just sat there and started laughing, and said, all Lee said was, you poor, bitter, mean, lasted woman. You, you just as bad as the other one. And so, yeah, oh my goodness. Listen, so she eventually just hung up the phone. In between MFs, FUs, you full of ass, and Satan the Lord rebuke you, the blood of Jesus against you. Well, all I know is listen. It's the holiday times. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. It's not tis the season to be jolly. F you, F you, F you, M F F F it. <laughs> so I know a lot of you go home, and relatives come in town, and you go home, and loved ones get together. And sometimes, when we get together too long, we start to have tension. So, my Christmas wish to you, from the bottom of my heart, don't get cussed out at Christmas. God bless you. <laughs>